Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. <laughs> nice. Hello. Welcome back. Oh hey, look. my god. Dude, I didn't know they put Ridley in... in Here, in, your turn, actually. I'm playing. I didn't know Ridley got his own game. Look at him. Look at him. He's, He's so, so cute. cute. Is this baby Ridley before he returned evil and yeah. killed Samus' parents? Yes. Oh, he's so cute. You like Almond Joys? Uh, eh. Almond Joys, what's that? Coconut and almond. Uh, no thank you. I'm good. Unless you get a Kit Kat. I think there's not many left. Yeah, I saw you eating one. Mm -hmm. I shared that with you. Oh, yes? Oh, yes you did. You saw <laughs> yourself eating it, you fucker! <laughs> I'm what? I said you saw yourself eating it, you fucker! <laughs> My short-term memory is not very good. Mm -hmm. As you know. <laughs> Your long-term memory is pretty fucking nuts. Yeah, my, my long-term memory of things that I really care about are, is super good, but anything short-term that I... Misty Bog. I only remember, like... Well, it's weird. I remember some things really well. I remember physical things extremely well. Uh, what do you mean? If I drive somewhere, and there's, like, 100 turns, I don't even need a map to get back out, because I just map things in my head like crazy good. Oh, good for you, man. I wish I could do that. But if I... I don't know, like, names and details and movies and shit like that. Sometimes I'll remember weird things that I consider important, but most of the time, no. <laughs> Chickens can't fly. Here, let's see how long it takes. Oh, whoa, Jesus. Hey! Chicken! You have to bash bag. Wait, can I eat him? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I just saved you so I can eat you, bitch. You got an achievement for that? Oh, I feel bad. Uh, I'd never do that in real life. Or you eat cage-free chickens? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I'd prefer to, right? Yeah. Because that's not, that's uh, kinder to the chickens. I mean, yeah. they're oh fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> I mean, we're eating, we're murdering them and eating them regardless. But hey, at least they they lived a more prosperous life, right? Yeah. That's that's the idea. Yep. Holy shit. Yeah. Fire beats the grass. The chickens type. are like shoved in there. It's not like a nice cage for a chicken. It's like. A tiny ass cage with like five chickens in it, and they can't move. Oh, Jesus! For their whole life, and then they get fed like fucking crazy hormone boosters and shit, so they grow fast, and then you kill them and you eat them. So that they can just make mass-produce chickens. Yeah, it's like treat them like yeah. an object that they mass-produce, yeah. and yeah, yeah, that's that's not good. I mean, I, I, no. I'm all for like I'm okay with eating living creatures because you know that's just a part of nature. But for I sure, mean, dude, I'd rather that they live healthy, happy lives at Same. first. You know. Like, cause, like that, that's one one big reason why my uh, one of my cousins, she's a vegan. Uh -huh. uh, at least I think she's... I, I don't know. There's like a million terms. There's pescatarian, vegetarian, veganarian. Retard! Vegan, vegan, virginarian. I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you always like to diss on vegetarians when we mention them on the show. <laughs> yeah, dude, because I fucking love meat, bro. Fuck! No, I have nothing against vegetarians. One of my best friends sure. is vegetarian. <laughs> I don't give them shit. Um, but well, you know, like... Okay, I'm sure I give them shit sometimes. She actually told me, I think in middle school or high school, she told yeah. me she doesn't eat McDonald's because McDonald's is evil. And I was like, what? They're evil? But then she explained that, like, the way that, like, the fast food industry in general tortures animals. And I'm like, okay, that's not cool. Eating animals is cool, but, I mean, you know, we're... we're humans are intelligent enough to know that we shouldn't cause suffering that's unnecessary, you know? Speak for yourself, dog. Oh, yeah, well, you're the king of cringe. I'm a sadist. You love cringe, and you mm. love to cause cringe. No, so. I'm kidding. I don't. You know, <laughs> like this. I always try to buy, like, cage-free, like, uh, roaming food. Oh, good. Yeah. Whenever I, I, I don't, whenever but I I'm see also it. not like, you don't do that, fuck you. Um, w whenever I'm at the grocery store, if I ever see something that's, like, cage-free, it's like, oh, okay, good, I'll get this instead. Yep. I mean, who knows if it's true, though? Because, like, yeah, there's, a, there's a lot of lying that yeah, goes on. Yeah, for sure. Like, cage-free for three minutes when he was one month old. <laughs> yeah, who, who knows if they're telling the truth or not. Yeah. So, it's... Like, yep. Did you ever see that documentary, Food, Inc.? Yeah. I, I saw a bit of that in high school. Uh-huh. Do you remember the part when it shows the baby chicks on the conveyor belt? Yeah. And they fall down, and it's, like, mm -hmm. all slow-mo and tragic? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, those things are designed to be, like, mm -hmm. a little bit of hard rhetoric. They pick, like, the craziest shit, and they, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, you, you can tell that There's definitely a lot to be learned from that, for sure. And, like, 
it def it definitely does expose like a dark side to eating meat, but um, I don't I, I don't think it's like uh, I don't know as as huge Fuck. as maybe that movie would have you think. I mean, as somebody who's who took film classes in college, and also I took mm -hmm. a journalism class. Um, yeah. One thing that they mentioned in journalism is that there's always going to be media that tries to manipulate the viewer and make them feel a certain way. You mean basically all mainstream news channels? <laughs> yeah. Put on your tinfoil hat, boys. Elliot's going deep. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, no, I mean, I mean, it's true. Like, they, dude, the way that um, what? Well, fire on him. The the way that uh. I mean, I guess, no need to talk too much about this, but, uh, you know, like, the in film, like, people put up certain music in the background to make the viewer feel a certain way, and you can use that to manipulate people. Yeah. And it's not good. So be careful. Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold-blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice swamp. He has an eyeball around his yeah, neck. Yeah, <laughs> saw that. At first I thought it was a bell. He looks like, he looked kind of like Mushu. Oh yeah, dude, people do that shit all the time, just like, um, I don't know how, I don't know how deep we're getting here, but fucking, like, uh, school shootings and shit, like, research shows that you shouldn't fucking report the killer's name, and you shouldn't even really talk too much about the situation, really? but the news is just like, look at all these shootings happening, and then it spawns copycat killers, because people want uh, the fame of, like, being... Like having their name out there. Yep, that's Damn. like they, you know, they feel like they've got nothing left, so they want to go out and like be remembered for something, no matter how shitty it is. Oh, that's awful. So, yeah. Wow. Okay. That's but, why they stop on um, like like bombings and stuff. Like bombings, I feel like used to be a little more commonly reported way back, like 60s, 70s, or something like that. But then, mm. um, a bunch of uh, like social behavior scientists came mm. together and agreed, like, hey. When you report this shit, people are more likely to copy this. So don't do that. So the news stations back then, when they had a little bit more credibility, I think it's mostly until, like, in my opinion, the, like, I don't know, mid-2000s, 2010s, when all the news stations became shill fucks, pieces of trash. What? Yeah. Chill? Shill. Oh, They're shill. Shills. Okay. They're a bunch of shills. They just want views. They, they fear monger. They, they don't actually fucking report unbiased news. They're just like, if you fucking walk out in America, you're going to get shot by someone with a gun, and global warming is going to fucking kill you right now. Wait, so they're fear mongers who do everything just for the views? Oh, yeah. un unrelated subject. Like, comment, and subscribe, or we'll fucking kill you. Ah. Anyways, anyways um, yeah, that, that's horrible, doing that, yeah. doing things like that for And views. don't get me wrong, viewers, I'm not a fucking climate change denier. <laughs> I... I fully and have always uh, acknowledged the existence of climate change and I will take that a step further human based climate change yeah um, I'm not saying it doesn't fucking exist I'm just saying the news definitely wants to milk that shit and wants you to freak the fuck out even though go google this kids fucking google this shit fuck most researchers and scientists are agreeing that it's not as bad as they thought and that again is not a reason to ignore it we need to do some shit I am urging you to vote conscious of the environment, but take it with two cents. Those motherfuckers will have you believe you will die in two years. That's all from Cletus. Thank folks. you for sharing that, Elliot. No, yes. I'm, I'm glad you shared that, dude. People need to be aware. I, I, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Everything's so politicized, though, now. Look right? at this. My one purpose in life is just to float here and just hold this sign. I, I never have time to go to the bathroom or down the hall. <laughs> um, they don't even pay me. I, uh, I'm, I'm first gonna go over here and finish what I was doing over there. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, um, oh yeah, what I was gonna say earlier, uh -huh. before we got off on more of a tangent, was, like, it, here's the thing. In media, like, say a YouTube video, you know sure. how, um, the score, like, you know, the music yes. present in something? When yeah. people put music in the background, like, happy music, generally yep. that makes the viewer feel happy. Or if they put, like, sad music, it makes the viewer feel sad. Well, sure. So Humans are kind of chameleons of emotion. Like, so, whatever you put up, they'll mirror. So the reason I'm what sharing is this is because people who... Fuck you! You are dying so much on this level! Okay, next episode you're playing. Uh, uh, the reason I'm sharing <laughs> this is just to let some people know, like... You came over? No! Did I? Yeah! No. 
Oh, so yeah, never mind, lives. never mind, never mind, never mind. The, the reason I'm sharing is because I just want people to be aware that, like, hey, be careful, because people will try to manipulate you oh, with videos. Sure. Like, if you just try to be aware of what their intentions are, what the music is, how it's shot, even how things are shot, like, with certain yeah. camera angles and stuff, mm -hmm. can make you feel a certain way. And mm -hmm. in films, like in movies, it can be used to great effect. Dude, you gotta use your fire there <sighs> every time you're dying, because you charge them, and then they kill you. You gotta blast your fire on them. Blast, 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 blast. Like, it can be used to really good effect to make movies good, but it can also be used to manipulate people into thinking, like, oh, what they're saying in the news, they're making me feel mad or awful about this, mm -hmm. and, like, we don't even realize it. So, be be mindful nice. of the things you consume. Nice. People. That's James's PSA for the day. Yeah. Anyways, here's a fucking dragon. It's important. Damon. Mad Damon. <laughs> Drag Damon. Oh. Thanks for releasing me. Seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh, no. Why, I remember... Uh, uh gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> he, dude, that, that guy looked like he had gems on his beard. Yeah. Anyways, you, were you gonna say something? Oh, no, yeah, I think you, I think you said it well. Just, uh, there's always, like, multiple sides to things, so just get all your facts. I mean, I guess, Go. like, that's why, like, you know how the... the fuck me mm. in the ass with a rusty steak knife and a chainsaw. Hi, I'm James, and I jump the gun. I jump up the cliff, and I look real dumb. I should have found out where I'm gonna fly, but that ain't how I do it for this guy. Next time, on Roy Goo, Elliot and James, the controller, cause James sucks.